I wanna be the very best <laughs> Like no one ever was Damn, yeah, yeah. To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the land Searching far and wide It teach Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Pokemon, gotta catch them up so true Greetings, salutations, and welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heathen, here with my movie review for Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu featuring Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. A talking Pikachu, a talking Pokemon. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. And this kind of put me off a little bit going into the movie, but I went in optimistic because I saw the trailers and it did look good. So the synopsis, Detective Pikachu, is Detective Harry Goodman is involved in an accident and is presumed dead, prompting his son Tim to go into Rhyme City searching for answers. And in this sprawling modern metropolis, this neon lit city, he meets up with Detective Pikachu and discovers that they can speak to each other. They can communicate and talk to each other like no Pokemon ever happened before. This one happens and they team up and together they search for clues and that's the beginning of their adventure in this city. That's the synopsis. Um, I actually looked up the synopsis for this movie to give you at the beginning of this review and all the synopsis just reveal the whole plotline whole storyline so I kind of shortened it and changed it a little bit because <laughs> I didn't want to give away the whole whole movie plotline and story before you even go see it or even some little spoilers this is a spoiler free review that's right spoiler free no spoilers I don't, I don't like giving spoilers away I, I like to just give you my thoughts my feelings what I thought about it if I would ever do a spoiler section it will probably be a separate video or at the end of the video and I'll let people know when I'm going to do it. Today, I'm not going to do a spoiler. There's no spoiler section in this. This is all spoiler free. So feel free to come in here, watch this review if you haven't seen the movie. And if you have seen it, feel free to come in here. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, you can always comment down below. Let me know your thoughts if you have seen it. But whilst you're down there, just enjoy the video. Give me a little thumbs up, a little like. If you don't like it, you can always give me a thumbs down. <laughs> so, movie review. CGI, it was good. Uh, it was brilliant in some places and pretty poor other places I thought some some places I'll give you an example Pikachu himself Detective Pikachu absolutely blew my mind he was amazing there was one point in the theatre in the cinema I was staring at the screen I was trying to figure out if Pikachu was a CGI character or a puppet like an animatronic puppet because the detailing on his fur the way his fur was moving in this little breezy bit I mean, it was just so phenomenal, and I, I I couldn't quite grasp whether it was CGI or a live action, like real a real Pokemon. They they just trained real Pokemon to come in a movie and act, <laughs> no, but like an animatronic or a puppet, I just couldn't figure it out. That was absolutely amazing. Everything else on the movie, I thought was good. It was really good. It wasn't that standard level as Pikachu. I think they put a lot of budget into some of the more prominent figures that were in the movie. But then there was a part, especially at the beginning, some of the flying Pokemon, like the Pidgeot, I didn't think the CGI was very good, or at least the, the motion of them. They kind of looked like old school graphics, like, like the wings were moving slightly like this, and then they were just flying like this. It didn't really, it didn't really look like a. But if you see a bird in real life, they kind of swoop and move, and they have this this glide to them, and you see them moving, and it seems like it more motion. Was this just didn't seem right? It seemed like a inanimate object just moving its wings and moving. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. I mean, the rest of it was good. I really enjoyed the CGI in it, and the storyline. The storyline works really well. It does, and it kind of explains why. Pikachu and Tim can communicate and talk to each other, so that is in there. That there is an understanding of that and you do have that in the story. Right? It's not just something that's just thrown in there randomly, and people have to pick it up. And be like, okay, that makes sense. So it's quite good. Ryan Reynolds really makes this movie. He makes this movie an excellent movie. 
my only downfall, I'll say, with this movie, the only downside, the, the downer I've got it is, if you were to remove Ryan Reynolds from this movie, it would just be an okay movie. It wouldn't be a great movie. It's an excellent movie with Ryan Reynolds in it. I thoroughly enjoyed it the whole way through. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> he just plays Ryan Reynolds nowadays. <laughs> and he's amazing the whole way through. Really, really, he really did make this movie. And I'm afraid that if you removed him from the movie, the movie just would not be as good. I was quite impressed with the actor who played Tim as well. Um, he's be He was in Jurassic World. Uh, I didn't really notice too, too much Jurassic World, but he did a really good part in this. I really enjoyed it. I thought he played a good part well. I feel all the actors were quite good in this movie. Just Ryan Reynolds really carried the movie. <laughs> He's just the voice actor, but he really carried the movie. He really made the storyline good. He made the jokes, made it funny, and it just flowed really well. I, that's my only thing. I am afraid that if you take him out, then it wouldn't be a good movie. Well, it would be a good movie. It just wouldn't be an excellent movie like I thought it was. So, was this the movie I wanted? No. Absolutely not. As a Pokemon fan, I wanted Ash, Misty and Brock. I wanted Team Rocket. I wanted. I just wanted the Pokemon series that I knew. I wanted to watch that in live action form. <laughs> um, but I really love this movie. And it's left me confused. Um, I, I really jumbled up thoughts because of this movie. Because... I really want to see another movie with Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu because I loved it that this movie that much. It was really good, 100% worth a watch. Very very funny. But I kind of also want to see a live action Pokemon movie, like uh, just Pokemon trainers. It doesn't have to be Ash, Misty, and Brock and you know, the normal guys, but it could be any sort of sort of Pokemon trainers. I'd like to see their journey throughout these throughout the land. You know, becoming a Pokemon trainer, battling and stuff. But after seeing this movie. I'm worried that I won't be as engaged in that movie because I've heard Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu. So I really like that. But then again, I would, I really would. As a, as a huge Pokemon fan, I would love to see a live action Pokemon movie that is just a Pokemon movie and not a Detective Pikachu movie. This, 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 this is, this should be called Ryan Reynolds Pokemon movie. <laughs> or Ryan Reynolds is a Pokemon, is the Pokemon. I don't know what they call it. Uh, I just think a standalone movie without Ryan Reynolds now would not be as good. But this movie is definitely a huge thumbs up from me. And if I was to rate this movie as a movie by itself, um, what's rating system for you? Let's go, let's go for Pokeballs. Out of Pokeballs, I would out of five Pokeballs, I would give this a four and a half. Four and a half Pokeballs. I think, yeah, four and a half Pokeballs. I think I would give it five if the movie would have been good without Ryan Reynolds in it as well. <laughs> but that's my only downside of it. That and the little bit of CGI for the flying creatures kind of put me off a little bit. I wasn't, I wasn't too keen on that. But I mean, the CGI is as great as CGI can be these days. But like I say, I'm interested in your thoughts and your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this movie. If you've seen the movie, let me know. If you haven't seen the movie, let me know. Are you planning on see it? I'm not going to see it. I would go and get this on DVD, and I am going to get a DVD when it comes out, and it is a movie that I will re-watch again. It's, I'd only give it 4.5, because it's not one that I would want to watch over and over again, but it's definitely one I want to watch again, give it another watch, and I'd definitely like to have it in my collection so I can watch it at some point. So, therefore, I'm going to give it 4.5. And uh, all the normal YouTube jazz. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Whilst you're there, smash that bell icon so you know if I had each and every time I upload. And if you want to help my support my channel, you can always go check out my Patreon page. And over there, we're doing Patreon-only videos once a month at the moment. Plus, once we hit that Patreon like goal, the amount reach goal, the amount of Patreons we have, I'll be starting to do some giveaways over there. But I'm Geeky Heathen. This has just been a short movie review for Detective Pikachu. As always, much love. Until next time, stay awesome. Prepare for trouble. And make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team, Team Rocket, Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. light. Surrender, Surrender now, now or prepare, prepare to fight. fight. Meowth, that's right. <laughs>